and John, Carol, and I just got to the beach. We're going to get ready to catch some, see if we can catch some pompano, maybe some red drum, black drum. It should be a great day. We're here at Mayport. John is a, uh, a military veteran. Decided he wanted to learn how to surf fish, so we're out here learning. John's on already. Just a second. Go ahead and pull the pull the sinker off the bottom. I hope. Feel something on there? All right. Fish on already. He's right down here, isn't he? I don't see him yet. Yeah. He's over here, ain't he? That might be a pop. Go ahead and tighten that drag up if you want. I did. Okay. Good. Oh, it was out there. 120. You feeling him? Let's see what we got here. There he is. Looks like we got a catfish. <laughs> we got two fish. Two fish, catfish, sail cat, something else. Oh, look how beautiful that is. John on, John's on fish number two. Actually, he's on fish number three, maybe four. <laughs> Not really feeling. No feeling? Mm -hmm. oh, he's on there. Probably might, probably pop, probably pop, but no, he's, he ran in with it, I'd imagine. All we're doing is just trying to keep him tight. Yep, just keep her tight. When it comes when it comes slack, just go ahead and point at him so you can reel down to him. Need be. <laughs> John, it is old drum. I'm just hammering fish today. Oh, it's down the beach. Oh, nice fish. Oh, broke off. John's on fire. Oh, nice another black drum. That boy. Hey, thanks, John. Hey. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. We're documenting it. She'll see it. Look at that big black drum. John is putting the hurt on him. John's got him right there. Look how beautiful it is today. Huh? Looks like. Uh, yeah, Let's see what it is. Old Jack Carvel, it looks like. A little Jack. Yep. Old Jack Carvel. There he is. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, look how windy it is today. Water's dirty. Let me reel this line up real quick. Water's dirty. I never guess what's in the surf still. Oh, beautiful old Pompano. Oh, look at that beast. Whoa. Well, I just got showered up after a uh, fantastic trip to the beach with uh, with uh, John Carroll. And I just wanted to tell him thank you for serving our country. I want to thank everybody that uh, is serving, you know, especially in this time of uh, uh, a little pandemic is and one of the big things fishing does help the body uh, and the mind and you know John was saying hey I want to I want to go fishing but I want to wait till after this thing which is super wise um, he ended up uh, 
calling me and asked me if I if I could go to the base with him and I said absolutely and you know one thing is I we kept our six foot distance and and we made sure that we were uh, ultimately safe. Uh, I met John uh, from him watching my YouTube channels and and my grandfather was a uh, old Navy uh, retired Navy and and uh, one of the big things for me is I want to make sure that uh, all you uh, military guys out there that uh, want to learn how to surf fish go ahead and reach out to me we'll uh, we'll spend some time together uh, I know there's a lot of things that uh, I never will see and hopefully I never do that you have and and I really appreciate you guys uh, doing what you do uh, for our country and and I just want to give back to you guys if you need uh, uh, to learn how to fish on the base you let me know we'll definitely uh, be able to help out in, in many ways. Uh, I know there's lots of fish there that can be caught. So so if you're a military guy, just uh, go ahead and reach out to me on, on the sinkerguy.com or on my YouTube channel here. Just reach out to me, um, tell me you wanna go fishing sometime. We definitely uh, will make that happen and uh, look forward to uh, getting on base with you if that's where you wanna fish. Or we can chase the pompano or the redfish up and down the beach. Uh, either way, uh, you let me know. Uh, once again, I want to thank uh, John uh, for watching my videos and, and then reaching out and saying he wanted to come fishing. And You know, John, it was a, a phenomenal time I had with you watching you catch those fish. I know, John, when you were reeling in that second fish, uh, I know you said, hey, I wish my wife was here to watch me catch these because yesterday I didn't catch any, you know. Sometimes it's just about going on the right days and, you know, and we documented this uh, so she could see you reeling in those fish. Um, I wish we could have seen you that big one that was on there that uh, broke you off, but uh, uh, that's that was another uh, wonderful day of fishing for me, and I, I appreciate what you've done for our country. Um, and once again, if anybody's out there that uh, wants to go fishing uh, and you're in the military, you reach out to me. We'll definitely take care of you, and we'll go from there. Go ahead and subscribe below. Keep watching the content. There's a lot of great stuff coming, and if you're another military guy, uh, you want to be on this on the channel you let me know we'll do it fish on keep those lines tight be safe out there don't be, don't be letting John fool you now look at his cooler This is a this is Mayport here. I'm going to show you where I fish, but this is St. John's River. This is uh, the Mayport jetties here, so you kind of know that. Um, this is the Navy Lodge, uh, so you guys can. I'm going to zoom in here. Um, but when we look at here, this being the Navy Lodge, the fishing been good. Pompano fishing has been right here right now. And then at that second, at the Navy Lodge there, see if I can, uh, at the old club restaurant. So right here, there's a walkover right here. Pretty nice little walkover. It's perfect as we were fishing. So there's a little hole right there and you can see that. So uh, if you're one of the military guys, you'll see right by the club restaurant has uh, is, is been really good fishing. And then right here off of this beach access right here, uh, been really good fishing between those two.